Hi, I'm Vince with Discounting Board Marine. We're going to check the engine alignment on Master Sergeant Jamie Kilroy's Mastercraft today. Uh, make sure that it's dialed in. All you'll need is a 9 16 inch socket and ratchet and a 9 16 inch wrench and a 3 thousandths inch feeler gauge. We're going to take these four bolts out that hold the shaft coupler to the transmission coupler, slide this back, slide them back together again just like we're going to bolt them up and then check with our three thousandths of an inch feeler gauge between the two couplers and if it's tight all the way around we're perfectly aligned. We'll check it out as soon as I get these bolts out. When you're checking engine alignment you also can check it on direct drives like this boat and also on V drives. Engine alignment is very important because it keeps the drive shaft in line with the transmission so there isn't any side pressure on the internals of the transmission or the damper plate which is attached to the flywheel and provides the power to the transmission. All of those things need to be in perfect alignment. As you can see we've got all our bolts out so we just pulled the drive shaft uh, coupler back from the transmission. Now we're going to slide them back together again and make sure they intersect properly. We're going to take our three thousandths of an inch feeler gauge and you can get these at any automotive store and we're just going to go between these two. I've got a lot of slop there and as I come around it gets tight there so that tells me my motor is out of alignment so we're going to have to go to the motor mounts <clears throat> which are on the side of the engine here and in front and make our adjustments to bring this in. Each motor mount is individually able to move vertically and horizontally so we can move this engine straight up straight down, the back to the left, the front to the left, whatever way we need to go to make sure we get this alignment right on the money. We'll get some tools and show you how to do that. What we have to do is move the engine a little bit this way towards me so that we can take up the gap which is on this side. We're pretty good as far as up and down height so we're going to have to loosen what's called the trunnion pin locks. <clears throat> trunnion pin locks are on the mounts. Uses an 11 16 inch wrench and they're right down here and what you have to do is loosen the trunnion pin lock. So we'll loosen that up. Once they're loose you still have to take a hammer or ratchet handle or something and give them a little tap. And you'll see that they move in. So you can see that there's a little bit of movement there. That loosens them up. If you don't tap them, they'll stay locked and you won't be able to move the engine. So now at this point, we're going to take a breaker bar or a pry bar and we're going to try and move the engine a little bit towards me. Once you loosen the trunnion pin locks that allows the engine to move in a horizontal fashion. We'll give it a try. Now that our trunnion pins are loosened we're going to take a pry bar, put it down on the mount itself and it gives us a good area to pry against and we're going to just move that a little bit that way. And then we'll check it again and see what we have. We moved it a little bit. We're only talking about maybe three to four thousandths of an inch. So it doesn't take very much to get the engine alignment dialed in. So we just pry a little bit more on that mount. You can hear the engine moved on that one. There's a little sound that tells me that it moved. Check your distance, and we're good all the way around. We can tighten her back up, and that's how you do an engine alignment. 
the mounts out the mounts also have an up and down adjustment in case you have to by loosening this bolt and there's a locking nut down below here you just loosen that and you can raise and lower the engine and that's all there is to it thank you for your time